All right, here we go. I think I'm partially insane. It's Monday, just before Christmas. Uh, I'm parked at the front of Steve Allen's workshop, waiting for him to open. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But I think I'm gonna do a daily vlog, which sounds insane because I'm already really, really busy. Been trying to build this car, ready to go away for Land Cruiser Mountain Park. It's been a challenge, I tell you. Freight, and everyone knows this, I think. Freight is killing us. And my rims aren't here yet. My rubber arrived last week just in time. My sliders weren't ready. There's a new design sliders. I'll go and show you in a second. Uh, there wasn't enough time to get them powder coated, so I'm just gonna get that Raptor paint stuff. We ordered some Friday, got it delivered because we're short on time. It was in a spray can. It was um, like we'd have to put it into a paint gun. So I'm like, like just gonna grab that from Steve's now. Then I gotta start my day job. I think you're about to meet Felix, my assistant, in my day job. And he's gonna have to come on some errands with me today. Uh, we'll get the paint, we'll go do my day job. And then today's the last day of shipping stuff out. So then we'll have to go to the yard and ship stuff out. But we've still got to finish suspension, which hasn't arrived yet. Um, yeah, wheels, tyres, wheel alignment. The bar is on. We fitted that Saturday. Uh, electrical still hasn't finished. There's heaps to get done this week. And I don't know how it's all going to fit, to be honest. Oh, I've got keys to Steve's. I'm just going to go and get this stuff myself. <laughs> Have a tripping over stuff. No one's here yet. Have a look at this place. There's just Y62s everywhere. It's like a mecca. I'll show you that in a sec. They're just everywhere. All getting bars and everything fitted up. So this is my car working on this on the weekend. Got the uh, bit of a different colour scheme, hey? We um, still got a little bit of work to do on it. But yeah, that's the just a little blue, little flash bit across the bottom to match the blue car. Got bush barriers I've got to fit up as well. But to be honest, I'm really happy with the way this is looking. Um, even did a, <laughs> took the inserts out of the Nava um, uh, lights and painted them blue as well. Not perfect color match, but it's just whatever blue might have 10 had at the time. Anyway, so here's the sliders. This is like a new design. I've um, been talking about this for quite a while with Big O, putting a little bump at the front and changing the infill. They haven't even been plasma cut yet, so that's got to get onto on Big O about getting that done today. But yeah, slightly different sort of design, a little bit more tilted up, and then a flat plate opposed to being on an angle <laughs> because they weren't um, powder coated. Powder coated is the shot for the year. I thought I'd paint this one. Uh, just with a rattle can, and then I put it on cardboard, and <laughs> it stuck to the cardboard. So, yeah, that was a waste of time. But this um, this paint, uh, it's like a Raptor sort of paint. Is this it here? Uh, no, brake cleaner. Here we go. <laughs> this is what we used for it. Um, took about a can, and we ordered some more cans just so. Um, you know, we could make sure we could get it all done. And this is what arrived. That's not gonna work. Oh, Steve's just rocked up. <laughs> it must be weird coming to his own shop and it's already open. Anyway, so, uh, it's gonna be a busy day. I'm gonna get moving. Um, I'll show you how it all goes. Ooh, that's shiny. So that is gonna get fitted to This beast over here, first off the trot for Monday morning. <laughs> we'll see you a bit later. So just about to start, <laughs> so it's, uh, I don't know what time it is, it's early. Uh, Monday mornings we start our um, Monday with a video call with Jess and Matt. Um, Matt's my business partner. Jess does all our admin orders, amazing, um, up in Queensland. 
So we're just about to start the Skype call before the rest of the day starts. When I was uh, looking on um, Neato and we're getting low on uh, compressor plates. So probably need another five of them, I suppose. On the emails, I might have to ask some questions, but... Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I've got uh, Felix coming through shortly and then we have to go do consignment checks. So, yeah, I'm good to go. Okay. All right, see ya. Have a good day. Bye. <sighs> Quick costume change. So this is my uh, day job. Uh, yes, I have a day job as well. I uh, work as a surgical sales rep selling IOLs, that's intraocular lenses, to ophthalmologists. And um, I get to do fun stuff like calculate what power lens needs to go into your eye before cataract surgery, and then I go and get to watch them get implanted sometime. So pretty cool. Ooh, kettle's boiling. So I'm gonna shoot off and do that job now. All right. So let's find this place. Automotive paint. Here we go. Big Felix, by the way. Howdy. <laughs> All right, how do I flip the camera? All righty. It's like a fishing shop. All right. That's the place we want. Let's swap this paint over. There it is, right there. Yeah. You can see it. It's right there. Mm. And also these guys. Big shout out to them. They're like so apologetic and sorry, sorry. You gave me a couple of like free little rag things, so we can go do uh, get the rest of my job done and then come back and maybe hit this with a coat tonight. These are the little things that I sell. It's upside down. But little intraocular lenses. Come little box like that. Cost about 300 bucks or something. All right, survived the working day and just got a call from Steve to say the wheels have showed up. Simmons, he sent me a picture of three boxes of wheels, which is good, except Matt just called and told me because I asked him to get tracking. He said, uh, yep, your wheels are still in Tuggera, sorry. And I said, no, we've just had three boxes rock up. So, and it says three. I have four wheels on a car. So I'm gonna cruise around to Steve's and then uh, Monday night, so it's our last shipment for Dash of the year. So go out and see what's going on there because we're moving stuff around there too. Oh, that looks like Peter's here as well. I think I love this place. Check out all the Y60Ts, they're everywhere. We'll go and park next to this beast over here. This is Gary's car, I know this one. I think he's getting some uh, Steve Allen love this week too. Ooh, look at that. Out everything. So once we get the lift and tires on, it's gonna be pimped up like this one. So by the end of the week, Very orange. One, bits and pieces here. And then another thread of the bar here. Textured going onto this white beast. What I'm looking for is my rims, because they were delivered here. This is my little, there's one. So there's one, that's my test rim. So I need to find another four, which might be out the front maybe, where all the deliveries go. So we'll go and have a look. That thing looks awesome, hey. Love the ladder on the back. Here we go, all right. Rims, there's only three boxes. Don't they know you have four wheels on a car? That's not a good sign. All right. So these are the rims. They look absolutely amazing. I'm a little bit concerned. So the deal with these Simmons rims, I ordered one as a test from Simmons and um, bolted it on the car, it didn't fit. Uh, just the brakes are heaps bigger on a Series 5, didn't clear. So I rang up and said, can I send them back? I'm going to order something else. And they said, no, you've ordered now. You have to keep them. Honestly, when I ordered them, I said I wanted a test fit. And they wouldn't take it back. 
So stuff it, I really like these rims. Heaps of people are gonna disagree with me, but I'm just gonna put 10 mil spacers on. I know they're illegal, but um, I'm gonna get these rims on the car and they're gonna look sick. I wonder if there's bolts. I did specifically ask for bolts to be sent with it or nuts or whatever. I'm gonna pull this apart, find out where the last rim is and do all that, I suppose. Nothing's going smooth with this thing. So the wheels aren't going so great. There's no nuts. I don't know if you can get them. <laughs> Look at this, like a Y62 graveyard around here. Tires, I thought I'd tell you about the tires. Um, so I could not buy the tires I wanted anywhere. I wanted Mito um, trail grapplers, the, the mud terrain ones. Never had them before. I've got the Ridge Grappler on my Navara. They've been really good. So I couldn't buy tires for the life of me. So I thought, all oh, right, could I get Mickey Thompson's? No, can I get Kumo's? No, I couldn't get any of the tires that I wanted. So I ended up going on eBay and found um, these, have a look at them. They're actually pretty good. And what do you reckon I paid for them? Like there's four Nitos. I reckon they've got, I don't know, 10, 12, maybe more mils on each one of them. Got them for 600 bucks. Awesome. Needed a fifth of course, mate Charlie, Tough 62 had, cause he's gone to 37s now. So he had, and this brand new Mickey Thompson with the knobbly still on it, so just offered him a few bucks for them. So I've got I've got tires, I just need rims and nuts. Alright, gotta go out to the yard, do this treatment now. Alright, so next thing to do, um, I just had a look on the website and a flat new flat floor product, we've got a new modular flat floor that's gone live on the website so I did a video the other week so I'll go and post that now and uh, then that can be ready for people to watch and, and go for it as well uh, and then I'll edit this video to put up for you guys to see after that does that make sense <laughs> all right this is <laughs> this is dash HQ or warehouse HQ anyway so would you believe a year ago I was doing all of this out of my garage, like this time last December. Um, and we had these two containers delivered. So um, a mate of mine owns this yard and uh, he was kind enough to let me use some space here. But we've grown. So we had those two full. So we got this one. And then that one got full. <laughs> and then we got another 40 footer down the end there. And then that got full. So we're having to think um what else we can do so these two 20s here they're empty now and we're gonna take them to steve allen's um and that's going to be the start of 4x4 dna we'll paint them up sign them do all that sort of stuff but these are all they're empty now they're ready to go these will be four yeah so one will be like an office for dna 4x4 and, and the second one will be like a bit of a storage area sort of thing but the 40 footers that are coming here, we're gonna set up a bit better, like with a big roller door on that side. And then there'll be two next to each other. So there'll be another big roller door here that will break into the next container. So it'll be like one big space and there's a couple of other little tricky things. These are leaving two tomorrow. Yeah. And then Wednesday, I think the two 40 footers are coming. It all goes to plan with everything else that's happening. Um, so uh, how our other storeman was nice enough to empty them out over the weekend. Um, and then we've got Peter down here. This is like the one we work out of and there's a delivery area down the other end. Um, but this is gonna be our new sort of delivery. This was all different a week ago. Um, we've moved everything out of those 20s here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Dash HQ. Say hi, Peter. <laughs> Can't even see him down there. I've just spotted something. Like right, the other side of this 40 is our delivery container and I've just I've just spotted something which is exciting to me and I think it might be exciting to some other people too oh this is what happens to freight these days look at what's been delivered to us not happy about that but look what else has been delivered to us the smart people in the room will know what this is and I ordered I've had like six on order there's five here five front lockers that's exciting. I wonder, 
Steve would kill me. I wonder if I can get a locker in to my car this week as well. Uh, then I can be twin lock. All right, I've got work to do. We're gonna ship a lot of this stuff out tonight and then I'm going back to Steve's to start working on my car. So Brooksy mate of mine says to me, yeah, uh, we can do the 40, we can do the 20s of Savo and do the 40s later in the week. Like, do you want to do it now? I'm like, uh, yep. Got Steve to like clear out his car park. Look at it, it's just empty. And um, oh, here comes one now. There we go. So you're about to see the first part of 4x4 DNA. You know, we're gonna cut things up. Thanks mate. Cut things up to make it look like an office. Now, let's, let's get this thing on the ground. How good is this? So, we've got one over there. Oh. And one over there. So it's kind of like extending the face of Steve Allen's shop. And then we're gonna get some massive like signage on top of here, four by four DNA. And then, I don't know, we'll graffiti this one up and that's where we can take like photos of builds. Um, so we'll make that a, like a picturesque sign. And when we build a car, we can put it in front, take photos, all that sort of stuff, I reckon. The dream we've had for some time is coming to life. here we're running out of light anyway big dispatch going out tomorrow two fire bars down here if you bought from psi they're leaving so um they're going out back to steve's and i don't know if i've got any energy left for working on my car tonight but we'll see i could get inspired let's <laughs> see let's shut up right i think this is going to be the last bit of this day just rocked up to see how good does this look so um this is jared's uh predator bar in he's painted everything black like two pack black with orange highlights it's looking pretty cool it's mostly on this is the car we saw first thing this morning when we pulled up heaps has happened today to be honest it's a massive day um we've got the containers here we did our last dispatch uh still got some stuff to do but i'm going to sign off this video pretty pretty soon I don't know if my life is interesting enough to do a daily vlog, but I'm gonna try it and if people watch it, they watch it. If they don't, they don't. You know, I'm making a video here. Um, so anyway, give me your feedback. There's some big stuff happening in the next 30 days of my life. We've got um, LCMP, which uh, we've got Fraser Island. Uh, we're meeting up with a heap of other Y62 owners. We've got to get the build of my car done. Um, it's going to be a real push to the end. It's like on those like Mortine fly ads, like you spray the fly with Mortine, it speeds up until it goes, I feel like that. But we will get that car ready one way or another, sorry about the wind, for this trip. And it's going to be an epic 30 days come along for the ride <laughs> yeah yeah Frick Steve out he just doesn't stop working I'm gonna punch four cars out this week <laughs> 